Hello everybody, welcome back. I am finally back with a new video for you guys to just show you the piggies, give you some updates, and talk about what's been going on lately since I realize that it's been a while since I've made an update video. I apologize for not posting too many videos lately. We've just been extremely busy with the holiday rush and then after the holidays we're just trying to get back into the daily routine. But now we're back and I promise to post a lot more videos every week so that you guys can keep up with the piggies and see what's been going on. Everybody has been doing well since then. Not much has changed since the last time I made an update video, which I think may have been sometime in December. I can't really remember very well. But since then, um, over the holidays I had my friends' pets over so I could pet sit them for about a week and a half. That went well. I had their guinea pig and their rabbit here and they were both great to have around and were a lot of fun. After Christmas rolled by, the rest of the holidays were very quiet. Not very much happened. Just stayed home with the pets, enjoy their company, and then obviously go back to work once the holidays pass by as usual. So nothing too exciting. You haven't really missed much during the past few weeks. All the piggies have been doing well, as usual, enjoying their hay, their food, and their veggies, and also enjoying their new toys that they got from Christmas. They seem to have really enjoyed, for the most part, all of them. So yes, that was pretty much the holidays for us. Nothing too exciting. I guess now I should show you the cages so you can see some of the new toys that they got for Christmas that they've been playing around with. So, let's start with Aries and Nimbus. This part of the cage as usual, just the two huts and the potty pad. Poopies everywhere, even though I cleaned this cage less than an hour and a half ago. Here they have this cat ball with the bell inside, which they've really enjoyed bashing around. Here they just have one of the hay balls with hay inside, which they absolutely love demolishing. There they just have a Cobb Cabin Crafts bed with the bumblebee design on it, which they always like snuggling in, especially Aries. Here they have a cardboard tunnel. Here they have the rope and cube toy that they got for Christmas as well. I just put this in the cage today, so I don't really know if they like it yet or not. There they have Nimbus absolutely loves this, as you may have seen in my Christmas video. This is the little dumbbell toy with the little bell in it that makes some noise, and he absolutely loves flipping that around everywhere. Are you going to do it for us? No? Huh? No. You're just waiting for your food, aren't you? And in this corner, again, the potty pads, the hay rack, and here they have the Mason Cash Red Bowl that they also got for Christmas. This has been great. They haven't been able to tip this over and spill all the pellets everywhere, which they used to do, since I just prop it here against the corner and it's really hard to move from there, so that has been great. Moving to the top cage, we can see a Barbok and Shinobi who have been extremely naughty with each other, right Shinobi? Who got a timeout yesterday? Yeah! So yes, he was mounting Barbok obsessively at the point to the point where he didn't let him do anything. He couldn't eat, drink, or do anything, so I just set the playpen in the living room for him and put his hut, his water, his food, and hay there and just left him there for like an hour or two until he cooled down and calmed down because it was just way too much. Speaking of naughty piggies, it was actually Shinobi's first birthday last Sunday, which was January 6th, so he had lots of veggies to celebrate and he also got a set of willow balls to chomp on because he absolutely loves them. I just didn't have time to make a video unfortunately, but he obviously enjoyed his veggies and also enjoyed his new toy as well. So now actually to show you the top cage over here in this corner, just the same, the hay rack, the potty pads. Here they have their mason cash bowl, which has been great as well. Their other bowl that they've had for a while now. This 
they got during Christmas. It's just a wood chew and I actually put a bit of a dandelion salad in there and they enjoyed getting the lid off of it and eating the dandelion salad inside. So I've just left, left that there for them since it's a wood chew toy as well. Here they have their jingly cat ball. It's the same as the one that Aries and Nimbus have, just in blue, and they really enjoyed bashing this around as well. Here again they just have a cardboard tunnel. Here they have some apple sticks that they got for Christmas, which they have really enjoyed. Here they have their Canadian Comforts bed that they won in a contest, so I just put it here this week and they just love using it as a little bed on top. Sometimes they do go inside though, but they really like it. There's a Shinobi, probably going to be naughty to Barbok. Shinny, what are you doing? And moving back here, we have again a hay ball, which they absolutely love. And Barbok there is actually chomping on a grapevine chew, which I got from, mm, I think it was Bunny Bunch Boutique for Christmas of, as well. And this is the first time where I actually put that there. Hey, be nice! What are you doing? Be nice! What is the argument? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so they both want the grapevine chew. This is the first time that I actually put it in the cage, and apparently they really like it. They've been squabbling over it for quite a while now since I put it back in the cage. And there he goes again, shinny. And then here in this corner, they just have their two Jen's Custom Crafts Huts. One with little black cats on it. It was a Halloween fabric, and this one just has little butterflies and pastels colors on it. So yeah, that is their cage for this week. Now moving on to Teasel's cage. This is what it looks like this week. I realized that I haven't shown it in a while. She has a lot of her toys from Christmas in here, like the little jingly ball, the little starfish plushie, and that little purple and silver ball right there. And here she has her epic 15 foot long tunnel, which I've put in there to see if she actually was interested in it or not. And that pile right there, somewhere in that pile of shavings that's inside the tube, is Teasel sleeping. So the first few days, she actually just slept in the middle of the tunnel, right here. And then a few days later, she just started picking up this bedding, which is the crinkly one and stuffing it, stuffing it into the tunnel and is just sleeping among that pile of shavings which is hilarious. I don't know if you can see her really well but this little white bit right here is some of the quills on her back so she's just among that pile of shavings just snoring away. She has absolutely fallen in love with that thing so yeah, I don't think I'll ever be able to take it out of the cage to use it for playtime for the piggies as I had planned, but oh well, I'm glad that she enjoyed it as that's what it was for. I can't show Teasel to you guys right now as it'll be extremely hard to even get her out of there, but I plan on making another hedgehog video tomorrow because I realize that it's been a while since I've made one, so stay tuned for that. And I guess that's the updates about Teasel, not very much, and now I can move on to talk about the new foster that I have. So yes, I do have a new foster pig right now. His name is Ranger, and he's just peeking out of his hut right there. I'm going to talk quietly so I don't spook him. And no, it's not Barbok. He definitely does look a lot like Barbok when you look at him from certain angles. This guy just got here yesterday night, and he is not available for adoption yet, as he will need a lot of socializing to do, as he is absolutely terrified of everything, of humans and every little noise that he hears, like a door shutting or something, just spooks him. So, even when I'm holding him on the little dog bed that I have that I hold the piggies, he just sits there like a pancake pig and just 
you can see his eyes like boggling out of his head so he is absolutely terrified and is going to need a lot of socializing before we can put him up for adoption so I know that he'll be here with me for a while since I know that it'll take a lot of time. Although he is scared of everything, he is actually a very sweet pig. I know that once he gets really tame and used to people, he will make a fantastic pet for anyone, so we'll just have to give him a lot of one-on-one -on -one time and see if he gets better. Now before I actually started fostering Ranger here, I did foster another guinea pig in the beginning of January, but I only had him for about a week and a half because he got adopted extremely quickly. His name was Bandit, and unfortunately I didn't get to post a video of him or anything because it was so fast, which was awesome. But if you're on my Facebook, you should have seen some pictures that I posted of him. Okay, so I finally managed to get him out of the cage to at least show a little bit of him to you guys. He is absolutely gorgeous. He is white and kind of an agouti brownish color, which is really, really cute. And again, he's a really sweet pig, just really scared of a lot of things, which will need a lot of work. So yeah, this is Mr. Ranger. I'm not going to take him out since I really don't want to spook him and scare him even more than he is. Hi baby. Hi. Cute boy. Who's your cute boy? So yeah, that's him. He's in the tube right now and his eyes are like really starting to pop out. There you can see a little bit of him. And I'm just gonna leave him alone now because he just got here yesterday so he's still getting used to the new noises and smells around here so I'll just leave him be for now and hopefully when he gets a little bit more tame I can show a little bit more of him to you guys. So yes, those are my updates of what's been going on since the holidays. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the piggies again, hearing about the hedgie and seeing the new foster of course. I promise that I'll make another hedgie video this weekend and it'll be uploaded in a few days since I know that it has been a while since I've posted one and you've actually gotten to see her. So yes, those are my updates. I'll go ahead and wrap up the video now. A bye from all the piggies. First from Mr. Barbok. Piggy. Piggy. Hi, you gonna say bye? No. A bye from Mr. Shinobi, who's too cozy sleeping in his hut to actually come out to say goodbye, so I'll just leave him be. And now from the bottom pigs. Oh, that was an Aries popcorn. I don't know if I actually caught it on camera. A bye from Mr. Aries. Aries. Yeah, they're both too busy eating hay, so I don't think they'll even bother. So yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!